the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 205, Jeremiah 10 to 13. Jeremiah's prayer for the people. The Israel who rejected the privilege and mission to be a holy nation and a kingdom of priests and departed from God were responsible for the result of their disobedience. First point. God taught the people of South Judah how pointless idol worship was. God told the people of South Judah through Jeremiah just how pointless idol worship was. The first point was that idols were manufactured by men and his tools. The second was that it was decorated using silver and gold and nails. The third was that it could not talk or walk. Fourth, it could not give curse or blessings to humans. Therefore, they were utterly pointless, and they were to fall to the ground when God punished the people. The people of South Judah at the time practiced idol worship to the extreme, and this was their big problem. They had taken in various idols and accepted them. God proclaimed that he was the only God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, who would destroy all the man-made idols. The idols who did not build the heavens and the earth would all perish. They may appear to have power, but they had absolutely nothing. People should remember that God is the one and only God. Jeremiah taught the people the following. First, God's name is great and almighty. No one is like God. Second, God is the only God, and he is the everlasting God. Third, God built the universe with his almighty hands. Fourth, God governs the heavens and the earth. The people of South Judah who did not believe in this were warned of the consequences of their actions. Second point. Jeremiah prayed for the people of South Judah yet again, despite God's burning anger against them. Jeremiah lamented as he saw God's burning anger against the people of South Judah. Woe to me because of my injury. My wound is incurable. Yet I said to myself, this is my sickness and I must endure it. Jeremiah cried, and the people were so ignorant and arrogant and irresponsible. Although God told Jeremiah not to pray for them, Jeremiah knelt down again and prayed for them nevertheless. Third point, God demanded the people of South Judah of the covenant of a kingdom of priests. God demanded the people through Jeremiah of the covenant of a kingdom of priests. They have returned to the sins of their ancestors, who refused to listen to my words. They have followed other gods to serve them. Both Israel and Judah have broken the covenant I made with their ancestors. As the people had broken their side of the promise, they could no longer escape their punishment. Thus, God declared, that he would not listen to Jeremiah's prayer for the people. Do not pray for these people or offer any plea or petition for them, because I will not listen when they call to me in the time of their distress. First point, Jeremiah questioned God just as Habakkuk had questioned God. Jeremiah questioned God just as Habakkuk had questioned God regarding God's decision on the people of South Judah. You are always righteous, Lord, and I bring a case before you. Yet I would speak with you about your justice. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all the faithless live at ease? 
How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Or I cry out to you, violence, but you do not save? Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrongdoing? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and conflict abound. this. It appeared to Jeremiah that the God of justice was letting the evil get away with their evil. This was the same question that Habakkuk had. As God had answered Habakkuk, he answered Jeremiah. God first woke Jeremiah from his distress. God told him that the suffering of Jeremiah would be much greater than the people of Anathos rebuking him now. God also told him of the destruction of South Judah. God declared that he would judge South Judah, who focused on their house, their possession, the things they loved, their vineyard, and their happiness. God furthermore declared that Babylon would fall, but South Judah would be restored again. God's judgment did not only apply to South Judah, but to all those who obeyed and disobeyed. Fifth point, God used the metaphor of a rotten belt to explain the arrogance of South Judah. God used the metaphor of a rotten belt to Jeremiah to explain the sins of South Judah. God showed Jeremiah that South Judah's arrogance would rot away like the rotten belt. The belt is needed for the mid area and it is a necessary item. Likewise, the people of South Judah were a part of God and they needed to be with Him. However, they not only turned away from God but disobeyed Him. They needed God but they failed to see this. Next, God said that every wineskin should be filled with wine. God used this metaphor to reveal His anger that was like a wineskin fitted to burst that symbolized South Judah's arrogance. Next, God warned them that they would be taken as a captive. God explained that everyone, including their king, would be taken captive. Third, God warned them they were to be punished for refusing to repent. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.